Rabbity from CapturalComputers.com.au. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is today is uh, showing you how to uh, get a lot of cards, if you want to call it, in um, the football game that I've been playing here, which is the Pocket Football uh, on the Nintendo 3DS. Now that is um, it's available on the you know on the eShop. Now basically, a lot of people uh, do do notice that the game you know it takes a long time to get codes uh, cards uh, to train. So, for example, I just want to show you how many I've got, just to give you a quick understanding of what I'm talking about. Um, so, for example, I can go into my goalkeeper. Here he is, Hamilton. He's a champion. And um, if I go in and select, uh, just go in there and train, for example, you can see all these cards here, which are fantastic. Um, and you can see that take a long time to get. Uh, I can tell you that right now. And um, so, for example, if I go in there and select, a, like I can tap on it, you can see I've got nine, and they stack on top of each one another. Uh, so they do stack on top and on top and on top. So they say nine, but you've got more than nine. And you can see I've got nearly all nine. Uh, and this one here, that's a hard one to get. But uh, you can see that uh, the the cards do stack, and you need a lot. You can you know you use them you use them a lot because you need to train your your guys. So you can see here I've got running, uh, weights, kicks, a lot, uh, agility, aerobics, and stretching. I'm missing the sprinting over there, which I've uh, it's been a bit hard to get lately. Uh, and then uh, once again here, I've got nine nearly of everything. The place kicks one of the hardest ones to get. Shooting, passing, freestyling, sliding, hitting. So you can see, I just want to show you all how many cars we've got. So this one here is pretty much nearly full of nines. And as I said, they stack on top. Uh, and you, you got more than nine exactly, but they just show you how many you've got in there. So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of cards. Now, how do you get these cards without having to go through the season? Now, the thing is that the, this is the trick in um, the way you get them. So, for example, if I jump back out, uh, I'll explain to you that, okay, so normally what happens is if you go in here and you play a game, as you can see, right, like, for example, uh, I've got um, a spot pass card a game. Now, in there, you can play against, like, I've got the Italian team. That will give you about, um, I don't know, five to six cards while you're playing, and then plus another three, 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 which is nine. Uh, that'll give you about nine cards in total, plus about, like, maybe you're lucky to about 15 cards. But the problem is your, car your guys get injured, maybe, they get tired, uh, anything could happen, and plus a week advances, okay? So that's a bad thing, because um, it's a good thing and a bad thing, because that's what happens is if you play a week, you, the week advances, and that's not a good thing. And, of course, you've got cards, and then your players get tired and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, if I did go there, you advance a week, and then, you know, not good. So the trick to this, uh, if you want to call it a trick, is you go in and play. You need to have, of course, Wi-Fi enabled on your, on your 3DS. Uh, you go into the airport, which is uh, up here, the secretary will tell you that you need to go into your Wi-Fi mode and start it up. So you go into your Wi-Fi mode, and when you do go into the Wi-Fi mode, um, it's saving and going in and starting uh, a, a game that needs to, that, you know, that requires internet connection. So if you're at home and you've got internet, then you're one step ahead of everybody else. So game save, let me just jump, we'll, get, we'll jump in. So basically up here the secretary will tell you that you've been playing for a certain amount of time. No, you don't want to do that. So basically um, you click on the ranking match. Okay. And you go yes. And then what you do is you wait for it to connect. It's retrieving information from the ranking system location. It's got a, you've got a game ID. That's my game ID if anyone wants to play against me. Uh, and it will load up your the ranking system on the 3DS for the game. So when, um, as you can see here, you can do a whole lot of different things in the game, but you don't, I'm not going to really give you too much uh, information uh, on what you need to do. Of course, you can you go in there and you can change the club information, you can play the way the squad plays, the command options and stuff like that, but it's a waste, not waste any time. All you've got to do is go into a rank match, okay? Now, when you go into a rank match, you are located somewhere in the world and or in the European world in this situation and you can see that there is um, teams that are ranked higher than you as you can see there uh, and teams that are ranked lower than you now it doesn't matter who you choose it's up to you you can choose a whole you can choose any team um, and you can play against them and that's pretty much it so for example I've played a total of as you can see right there as you can see all the cards that I've got 
I've won 139 matches, drawn 60, and lost 143. Now, if you don't care or really give a crap about your ranking, then, you know, do what I've been doing. And you'll get a lot of cards. So, for example, I, we can go in there and play against the, any of these guys. It doesn't make a difference because what's going to happen is you might win, you might lose. It pretty much does not matter. Um, so I'm going to go and select this guy. And then you want to play against this guy? Yes, I do. And then what it does is it will download the opponent's data, which is very short, not too much information, and it will kick off in the next few moments. So basically what happens here when you start playing, as you know, you, you really can't control any of the players in this game. And in online mode, you also, depending on how you configure the game, uh, or your settings, uh, it will automatically swap your substitution uh, guys out and in, depends on how you want to do it, and right up here, here you go. These guys have a 39% chance of winning, 29% chance of drawing, and we're going to lose because we've got 32%. But that doesn't make that really doesn't make a difference to us. I really don't really care. So the way it works, it will start. It will play a full game. Everyone's cheering for the my team, their team, everything in general. So basically, that is it. So once they play, they play normally. There's nothing you can do. And as you know, when you when you are playing your game, you do get cards. Now the only drawback to this unfortunately is that the maximum you'll get per game is two cards so as you can see I've played a lot of card a lot of games to get all those cards so that is pretty much it so if I go into you know this mode here which basically tells you the statistics and then you go here uh, you wait for a card to appear of course you can check it while you're playing if you want to sit there and watch but this is a grinding sort of a thing so basically all you gotta do here is just watch if you don't want to watch, you don't have to watch. Those guys scored against us just now. And that's pretty much it. So all you got to do is just watch the game or let it grind while you're doing something else at the same time. And that is it. Because uh, we just got a, they just scored a goal against us. But that's it. So basically what I'll do is I'll pause, I'll pause the recording, come back as soon as the match is over because the, my guys are losing. But I'll t then I'll show you how much cards we basically have left once the uh, match is over. And that is pretty much it. And my guys just scored a goal. Fantastic. All right, so I'll be back in two seconds. I'll be back once the game has ended to show you all the cards. All right, we're back. And uh, as you can see, the match has ended. Uh, my team lost 5-2. Uh, pretty sad. Disappointing effort there. But it doesn't make a difference because when you look down here, uh, what I'll do is I'll go over to this side and uh, just uh, select down the drop down. And here you go. I picked up two cards. One is signing, one is meeting. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So that ends the match. The match ends there, and there's nothing else you can really do apart from just saying, "Hey, thanks for playing," and rinse, repeat, and keep on going again and again and again if you want to get more cards. Um, so that's pretty much it. So once it's finished, it will take you back. Um, you can go back into the main menu. Um, it will load up and it will load up again, and it will take you to the uh, rankings page. Uh, and there you can just continue to start playing again and again and again. Now, just remember, as I said, um, that the rankings, playing ranked matches does not injure your team, does not hurt your team, does not do anything bad for your team, and it does not advance a week or anything at all. It will just let you play continuously and as long as you want. Um, so it's a great way to pick up cards, and it does not allow your team to get injured, hurt, and it does not work, it does not... Uh, you know, hurt or move forward a week at all. So it's just like you're playing in a time zone that never exists. And that's it. So that is all. Um, good luck. I hope you guys, um, it does come in handy and you guys get a lot of cards by doing this. So thank you. If you have any, miss if you have any questions, leave them in the uh, YouTube channel uh, down the bottom. And like us if you do. And that is it. Master Abbott signing out from capturecomputers.com.au.